One of those signature parts of the Chihuahua are those beautiful erect ears. For a multitude of reasons, you might see one with a floppy ear or two. It could be genetics, which of course a responsible breeder tries very hard not to breed into their program, but it could also be from teething, which most definitely affects the ears. Human babies drool and Chihuahua puppies droop in the ears. Lana is going to share with us the proper way to tape Chihuahua ears to help them sturdy up and remain erect for that signature look. Every day an ear is down, it's a week's worth of tape. There are so many little breed specific tips and tidbits I have learned on my journeys from kennel to kennel and I cannot wait to share them. If you have a tip you'd like to share, be sure to hit me up down below in the comments. And of course, please like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. That way you can ring the little bell and be notified and not miss a single moment of the fun. Today we're going to talk about the proper way to tape the ears on a chihuahua. In my opinion. <laughs> so... Starting off in Chihuahuas, I was told to tape ears in a lot of different ways. And I found most of them to be inefficient and actually break down the ear more than actually help it. A long coat Chihuahua with a larger ear will usually need some taping in order to get that those ears nice and upright. This is a 12 week old puppy. She has one ear erect the other one's still feeling a little bit lazy so she's only been taped about once so we're gonna go ahead and tape it again get it to stand you generally my rule of thumb with taping is i start at five weeks whether i think there's going to be an issue or not because i feel like it helps support the ear while they're in their growing stages and it makes the ears come up sooner maybe i'm a little bit impatient i just really like to know the ears are going to go up sooner than later. After about eight weeks, every day an ear is down is a week's worth of taping. So I like to get a head start on it. So if you're not like ahead of the game, you can be behind the game and it literally can be, you're, you're, behind, you're behind the eight ball and you're kind of bracing the clock. So I use Next Care 3M Breathable Flexible Tape. It comes in a two pack for like, I don't know, three or four bucks. And it's the only tape, the absolutely only tape that I would recommend. The reason that I recommend it and the reason why I think it works so well is it's light enough not to break the ear down, but it's supportive enough to support the ear and keep it up. It's also flexible and breathable. So you can mold it to what the shape of the ear should be like, which is incredibly important. That's very, very important in taping. I've seen people do uh, breathe right strips. I have seen tapings of all magnitudes. And the problem is, is that you cannot mold the ear to the natural shape that it should be. And that's how you want it to sit while it's, while it's gaining its strength to stand. So what I do, and this, this Chihuahua bitch, if you can see, she has fairly large ears. So I kind of gauge how big do I need this piece of tape? She's got fairly large ears. So I'm gonna cut about this much off. When they're five weeks old, you're literally cutting like a like, you know, half of this. But this is a 12 week old puppy and she's got big ears. So at the top of the tape, you're gonna cut it just into a, a, a triangle, just into a corner at the top. It's very simple. You don't have to do anything more than cut it like this. When they're smaller, when the ears are smaller and the puppy is smaller, I would cut it like this and then I might shave the sides because the, the ear wouldn't be as wide uh -huh, as uh -huh. this one is. So you're cutting it to the size of the ear. So if you're tar starting with a five week old puppy, it would be shorter and it would also be maybe a little bit skinnier, but this corner piece is really, really important. And then just the rest kind of fitting inside the ear. I'm gonna lay her on her back. I am going to flip the ear back. I have not shaved. I have not cut anything. I do not recommend shaving their ears. I do not recommend cutting anything off of their ears as they're growing. They need to learn how to hold their ears up with the hair. What I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna flip this back. I'm gonna place this into the ear. 
I want it to be as far down to the base as possible without like going into the ear, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure there's no folds, that it's not, it's not wrinkled up. You don't want any folds or any unnatural shape to the ear. I'm going to put it in here. A lot of people think I, you should tape, you know, with, and that's why they shave because they don't want it to pull the hair. This tape should really go on the inside of the hair of the ear. This is really for the ear leather, and it should go basically to the in, to the line of where the hair starts to grow. After you do that, I take my finger and I roll my finger into the ear. Okay. I set the tape in and I make the ear a natural shape like this. This is the only way I recommend. I've been taping ears for a long time and I've done all the methods. This is the only way I recommend taping an ear. You leave this in. I leave it in for about a week. I don't take them out. This tape will start to come out almost all on its own. When it starts to look kind of gross in about a week or whatever, I take it out. Then I pull it out. It's very simple. I just pull it out. I clean the ear with some alcohol and I see how the day goes. If the ear falls right back down, I tape it right back up immediately. I do not allow it to be down for a full 24 hours. If it stays up, then I leave it up. If it falls down two days later, I tape it back up immediately. On a large eared long coat chihuahua, you could easily be taping for several weeks before it gets up. Does that mean that it wouldn't come up on its own? No, absolutely. They probably would come up on its own, but in case you ever run into an issue where it doesn't want to come up on its own, you're already ahead of the game instead of behind the game. If you wait till you're already having problems with an ear, then there's a chance you may not get that ear up. If I've been taping for a while, if I'm dealing with a stubborn ear and I've been taping for a while, because they will get irritated a little bit if they've been had tape in there for too long, then I might give them a, a day or two, a few days rest or whatever before I tape again. But Generally, that's not an issue. Generally, it only takes a week or two tops to get an ear up. Some of the more stubborn ones I have taped, you know, I've taped all the way up to six months before, and then they have perfect standing ears with no weakness at all. So, it, it you know, like I don't give up until I feel like it's a weak ear and not just a, it needs, you know, it needs the strength to help the support. Right like a good support bra, like anything, you know, like, you know, sometimes they need support. Also, a good thing to know is even when you have a perfectly up ear, when they go through teething, they can go down. Correct. And I tape. It can almost be a laziness of them too, like the puppies, like if they can keep their ear up or down a lot of times, depending on how they feel. They get used to it being down, they just be lazy about it. So I definitely always tape until I know an ear is up. This bitch has really good ear leather, nice and thick. She's not gonna have any problems with her ears, but I'm definitely gonna tape them and give her that support while she needs to her puppyhood.